An all new season oh. of Moons and Cuddles with Paula Amabroni. I am thrilled to be doing this with you in 2022. It only gets better, entertaining, and educative. To all our team and viewers who have been holding us down all these years, we say thank you. Our mantra for this season is positive vibes only. Yes, I repeat, positive vibes only. We're going to take our marriages and relationship to higher heights. As I love to put it, gonna spice things up so if you're ready let's get started <laughs> Welcome back, you're watching Mons and Cuddles on Ghana Web TV. To kickstart this season, we're going to look at something very interesting. Yes, love and football. So we're just going to discuss how our difference in orientation bonds us. So on me, was seated on my couch is Hussein Hassan. He goes by HH, he, as he loves to call himself HH. Later we'll speak on, you know, get to know why HH. He is a football enthusiast and a former TV presenter he said he left us in the job and the lady <laughs> I Nash Lade Nash Lade is an, an administrator and also a football enthusiast Nash Lade I know you are a Barca fan right yes I am die hard die hard of course and HH yeah. United forever Manchester United okay yeah. Arsenal fans later we'll talk about you oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're just looking at love and football just yeah. the discussion I've heard a lot of stories with me I love football and my confession is that I don't think I can do a man who got no interest in football like no no because at least i just want us to connect on a certain level so uh hh i just want to find out should your partner always support the team that you love not necessarily okay and she shouldn't even be a football fan necessarily hmm. you know i think there are there there are a lot more levels i can connect with with my partner other than just football Okay. You know, I'm looking at it from uh, from the bigger picture, and I, I mean, I dated someone who once told me she is a she's a Manchester United fan, and the relationship lasted for like uh, a year and some months, and I I don't remember us even talking about Manchester United. <laughs> <laughs> really? Why did yeah, you get her Jesse or uh, customize uh, with her name? Well, I got her. I got her once. I mean, I. I remember there was a problem and you know you know how we guys sometimes apologize okay you don't you don't really like to say it but you find ways of apologizing yeah so i i remember i i got a i got a manchester United, yes. but for some reason we we didn't discuss well, we discussed a lot more other things but later i realized maybe it was just one of those things to you know sometimes women we are just we are not die hard fans so it's just we are supporting because our man is supporting yeah or probably you, you know yeah. maybe it was it was just one of one of those lines to grab my attention or something <laughs> <laughs> she won with that she won with that i must tell you but then what, what what happened on match days where you guys were you guys both watch because i know men love their football so they're going to make time to watch no she Do didn't she she didn't make time for football Okay. You know, so I watched my football alone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. once a while she goes like, ah, so what's the score? I'm like, oh, yeah, I mean, Manchester United won one. one. Yeah, I hope that goat scored. I'm like, yeah. But that was <laughs> the case. I mean, yeah, you know, I know. Yeah. All right, sure. So, Natalie, yes. I just want to find out is it more interested when you both support the same team? Like, how's the feeling like? Maybe based on your personal experience. My personal experience? Yeah. For me, I wouldn't want my uh, partner to support the same team. So different teams. Yes, different that teams. That comes with the vibe. Exactly. exactly. Why so? Like if you don't. if we support the same team and something goes wrong with my team, who am I going to throw? Who is he going to throw? <laughs> I'm more for the true, okay? Okay. So I want him to support different team while I support my team. So on a match day, mm -hmm. that is where the crash will be. Okay. On a match day, because if my team is playing and his team is playing, what are we going to watch? Which one? Mine or his? Do you get it? Uh-huh. But in all, maybe I have to sacrifice 
or he has to sacrifice. At the end of the day, whichever way it goes, if my team loses or his team loses, if his team win or my team lose, then we control each other. Okay. Other than that, the house will be so boring. So have you had uh, experience maybe in your relationship life where you've had someone who you clicked with on the football level? Yes, of course. Okay. You click so much. I was going for guys who are more of football fans. Because I said to myself, I can't do without football. That's one thing. <laughs> you don't want a situation where it looks like you're talking something different, you're talking football. And uh -huh. Differences will sometimes matter. So, okay, yeah. with me, I was with Chelsea when I was in senior high school. <laughs> and I then see. when I started dating, <sighs> the guy was a United fan. So okay. quickly, I switched from Chelsea. <laughs> I, I played my little you know. And then along the way, I met a Madrid star. <laughs> yeah. Then I, I moved. I said, let's suppose in Madrid. But me, has been shaky. But now, I'm an Arsenal fan. I really? see. So the, the person <laughs> you are with currently is an Arsenal fan. No, it's No, you've given yourself no, away. Hey, you've no, given no, yourself away. Say, you're giving yourself away. No, it's not always about but, that. I mean, I, I, I think it is, something, it is something with a lot ladies. of ladies. Yeah. yeah. Um, when they are with a guy, the they the tend supports. to support the, the team, team that, the or supports. follow the team that the guy supports. Yeah. And I think it's, it's natural. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Right. Actually, so this one is for you. Is it normal for a man not to have any love for any type of sport? Like, it's just a no-no. It's, it's, it's one of the weirdest things <laughs> for me as a guy. Okay. You know, that I have a friend, um, and I think he's one of my closest friends, mm. Timothy. He, okay. he goes to the gym, okay. works out and everything, but guy just doesn't love like anything sports. Hmm. Nothing That's sports. Weird. You know, it's weird. And you know, they say... Not even the blasters. He doesn't love them. Nothing. Blasters. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> you know, they say guys who don't, guys, guys who don't love football are into women mm. or are into alcohol really uh, you know but but this guy is not into sports not really into women and doesn't do alcohol Shout out <laughs> to Timothy, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting yeah but uh, but i mean he's okay we for... i mean he's a friend we we connect with on so, so i connect with on so many levels but for football you know and that's why i say I mean, personally, I can, I can, I would deal very well, and I've dated women who, who are not in sports so at no, all, nothing. and you know, yeah, it hasn't been bad. It hasn't hasn't been bad. So it's, uh, you shouldn't, you know, have any problem when you find a man who has absolutely no football, maybe soccer, basketball, whatever. He doesn't have, have any interest in any type of sport. I think you should. You should have a. You may have a connection that is not necessarily football. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And if I have a connection with someone mm -hmm. that is not necessarily football, and it goes well, I think I, I, you know, I would, uh, I, I can do with that. Right. You know, I All can right. do with that. Right. So, uh, Nash, I know yeah. with women. So the recently held Afcon, I was so much into it, and everybody was asking, "What's up with you and the Black Stars?" I have a history. My mm -hmm. dad supported Kotoko. Like okay. he was a diehard fan. Fun. He used to go to they would to watch their matches when they come to the Eastern region. And he one time promised me that he was going to take me to Afcon, but he, that never happened because <laughs> he passed <laughs> on. Okay, so oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. So with me, I connect with the blaster. Even when people say, "Oh, they've disappointed you and all that," I still want. When, when, when we were kicked out of the airport, I you cried. Still, I uh, cried my heart out because I was so disappointed because people told me, don't put your trust in the blasters. Yeah. But well, that we'll discuss it another day. Mm. So with you, Nash, a woman who is so much into football, dedicated, mm. a diehard Barca fan, <laughs> do you have men looking at you some way or yeah. women looking at you like, but I thought <laughs> it's a man's thing? Of course, yes. I have okay. a lot of friends, both sexes. Like, why are you so crazy about football? What is it about football? I tell them, if you understand, mm. you will love the game. For the okay. love of the yeah, game. Yeah, friends who are into it, they come together, we watch. Others who are not into it, they'll be like, when is football time? Don't call my phone. <laughs> when it comes to me, you have to pack yourself somewhere because it's football time. Mm. So they call me like football B, kind of. Okay. Uh, yeah, a woman okay. who is so much into football, like, what is it? 
Okay. Yeah. So sometimes it's just crazy that you find friends who are opposite you. But that is nature. You can't force anybody to love what you want. Yeah. So I just ignore them sometimes. But for my football, when it comes to me and it's game time, my friend, no attention for you. <laughs> so how do you create a bond with a partner? So maybe if you find a man that you... I don't really want to put it whether he loves football or not. Okay. How do you create that bond? How do you use, you know, football to, you know, spice things up? Yeah, sometimes it's about your conviction power. You okay. should be able to convince your partner mm. to love what you also love, or at least have a little interest in it. With that, you can bond. But in the case, if he doesn't like anything about football, it's really disturbing, but that is going to be a lot of work on my side to do. It's game time. What do I do? I need to sit him down, tell him how football is interesting. Mm. It will, it, will, it will all depend on me. If I can't convince him, he won't join me. Okay. And there will be always conflict in the house because it's football time and my attention all is on football and then not with him. So if I want him to join me, then I should be able to convince him to Tell love him the along. game. Yeah. All right. So this is when it comes to love, you have to compromise. He likes the situation you were a football enthusiast and then you have a partner who is zero zero. So on that level, how would you convince them? And if the conversation is not going well, mm -hmm. do you say, you know, I'm going to raise it all for love, so let's just abort mission and, you know, cut down on the whole craze. It's match day. Mm -hmm. Now, betting is part of it, but then we'll go <laughs> talk about <laughs> that later. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you do it? Do you let yourself go or drop the laugh of the football just to please your partner who <sighs> doesn't have any interest at all? Well, I mean, if if I want to watch my football, mm. I mean, I I would watch it alone. If she's got interest in wanting to join mm. me, watch fine. But I am not really the kind of person who would like to, you know, convert my partner into an overnight football <laughs> freak. <laughs> Something that would break her heart. You know, I okay. I mean, into an overnight football freak. Mm. I I wouldn't do that. But if she wants to join me watch i mean fine. for the sake of it or because i am watching i mean that's fine but i don't i i i think i would i'd rather uh focus on other areas you know other areas that i think we we Go click on. or we gel more than right. than than if it's sports all right you know? so before this conversation i had uh, a little to chat with some women and then they told me that paula Sometimes you meet a man and he's so dedicated for football. Mm -hmm. It's time to, you know, make time for me. And then it's all about that. <sighs> we complain. Fine, we're not saying we should stop it. But then can you find the balance? So, HH, how, what would your advice be to men who overdo the thing? It's like, it's in their DNA <laughs> as they like to put it. It runs through their veins. Uh. There's nothing that... So when it's football time, like my lady, can you take your seat back? Like, how? But when after the 90 minutes you want to gel with me, you want to talk with me, go back to the coach or something else. I'm not no, doing no, it. No, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a way to, yeah. there's a way to do it. There's a way to convince the woman that, okay, you this know, is uh, this is the time. When it's, when it's, when it's Champions League final, you don't dare. for example, okay, you don't dare. I mean, I, I cannot leave. I mean, so you've got to understand. So what if we have, Champions League night, the final, <laughs> is our anniversary. What are you going to do? I, I may have to compromise. <laughs> <laughs> Honest question. Listen, Honest response. Listen, I, I may have to compromise mm. or, or. or do something <laughs> ahead of that anniversary to take your mind, uh, ahead of that Champions League final, to take your mind off. <laughs> okay, I knew it. Something, knew right? It. I'm not allowed to football. Or, or, or maybe I, I, would, I would get you some, some gifts that, right? you know, yeah, I mean, just to, uh, to make up for that. Okay, women, okay. they are right. But He's it, trying it, to tell you, know, you come up with a plan. You know that, there's, there's, there's always a replay. There's, there's always a replay, but no, I mean, it's not the same. No, the main game. It's not the same. Oh, I remember right. uh, the famous BBC, um, sports presenter mm. Russell Fuller, okay. you know, had an, an anniversary <laughs> on the night <laughs> of the <laughs> UEFA Champions okay. League final between Manchester United and Chelsea. Mm. Okay, I think I know what he did. What the woman <laughs> dragged him out? <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> Even before the final, he mentioned, he said himself that his wife says she wasn't going to compromise. We are not going to do that. It. And so he didn't watch the final. He had to take the woman oh, out. so hurting. You know? <laughs> uh, you know, so, I mean, there are points where you'd have to compromise, you know. You can, because if, I mean, especially for, with yeah. you women, yeah. mm -hmm. um, it becomes a bigger case mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. Like you choose for more reference. over me. Exactly. Who does that? For reference. So sometimes, <laughs> for your, for, for the sake of peace. You just have to compromise. For the sake of peace, you just have to compromise. Compromise. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. So, maybe someone watching us at home in their offices anywhere, they will say, okay, fine. I have an issue with my partner. They always get agitated when I, I, I talk football and not I don't know this conversation. We're just going to create a, a, a platform where people who have issues, these petty, petty things that we could solve in marriages and relationships. So when they watch it, okay, fine. This is the tip that HH gave, uh, Nash gave. So Nash, if you have a partner who is always agitated, how do you go about it? Because <sighs> there are some men, with me, when I started talking football, they're like, it is not like they are shaming you, but... Yeah. You were like, oh, you, you get your heart break, break. Broken, don't even broken, enter into yeah. it. But who said we don't have the heart to watch <laughs> to football watch it, and, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. take all the disappointment? As I stated, I'm an Arsenal fan. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you have a strong heart. <laughs> <laughs> but now we are better now. Now we are a better side. Yeah, really? So oh, on, on the back of that question, what would your advice be? Ah, uh, like... The convincing, dealing with a partner like that. Yeah, because, like, see, we can't always have it like... She's always thinking I'm choosing football over here. Yeah. In that case, in that scenario, what is the best thing to do? See, football is how many minutes? 90 minutes. 90. And we'll be staying together for long. So 90 minutes, I don't think, will take anything away from us. <laughs> so for me, I would just want you to understand me. Okay, understand me. This is a game I love. Mm -hmm. You have interest also in something. If it's your day or your time, I will compromise. Okay. okay, I'll support you to watch your game or whatever interest you have. I'll support you. So 90 minutes wouldn't take anything away from our love life. So it just depends, like, you should be able to understand your partner. This is what he likes. This is what she likes. Okay, mm -hmm. with the understanding power, I think nothing will go wrong. After 90 minutes, I'm all yours. So why are you struggling over what? Do you agree with? Yeah, I think I agree with her. It should be um, more understanding. Yeah, it is. It is more a case of understanding. understanding. You know, but um, I mean, personally, experience has also taught me over Much the lessons. years that um, you know, women can use their power to bully you around. How? Explain <laughs> further. There's no point to explain. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. I mean, Women have, I mean, the women, convincing power. women have the convincing <laughs> power if they want to. So experience have taught me over the years that, I mean, like I mentioned earlier, you do what's best for, for peace, hmm. you know, for peace to prevail. Hmm. So if she wants me to forego the football and I am unable to convince mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. about my football, I follow. She wins. Yeah. But we, I've been caught up in a situation where I wanted to watch a movie. Okay. And then it was match day. You see? Tell you, that, that, that experience is bad. Then you are, you are forced to watch. Yeah. I told you I still have a lot for football, but I'm not when you really want to watch something and then you have to watch football. Maybe it's not my <laughs> time. That is, play, that, that's like, your stronghold of maybe your interest, not the football. Because me, whatever movie it is, if it is football, forget it. I'll go for football. No, so you, so maybe you get, uh, you get, you get, you get uh, two decoders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you have, you have, you have, you have one, one, in, the one in the hall and, and the one, one in the bedroom. bedroom. Uh -huh. yeah. so, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean that's that's worked for some people. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. Now remember that Mountain Cuddles is sponsored by Cheesy Pizza. Cheesy Pizza has all you want from juicy smoothies, jollof fried rice, pack, and meatballs. We have great deals for you all week round. Cheesy Pizza gives you the Mac Cheesy Combo every Monday and Thursday. With only 49 CDs, you get a small size pizza, fries and chicken, one cola drink at all branches. 
Tuesdays are Super Tuesdays at all cheesy pizza branches. Buy your Super Family Pizza at half price every Tuesday for 40 CDs and at all cheesy pizza branches. Be part of our midweek bonanza every Wednesday. Buy and get one free at all cheesy pizza branches. And also remember to start your weekend with our special jollof and fried rice from all, from all our branches every Friday. Call the number 026-413-3397 to place your order. Cheesy pizza, your pizza, your way. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, Monse and Cardos continues. From the dawn of time, people have engaged in several businesses. With the onset of technology and innovation, life has relatively been made easier. By using debit or credit cards. Mobile banking. Thank you. And your favorite mobile money? Tech has indeed married business. On BizTech, we spend time with faces behind known and upcoming businesses in the country. Learn more about the new technologies and innovation. As well as find out about the trending issues in the world of business. Join us as we serve you with a variety of compelling interviews, projects and others right here on Ghana Web TV. From that quick break, you're still watching Moons and Cardinals with me, Paula Amabroni. I have on my couch HH and Nashley. Yeah. They are all football enthusiasts. Before we went on that break, we were talking about the differences and stuff like that. But then straightforward to you, HH. How can uh, football strengthen the bond between lovers? If there is, like the love of the game, how can it help a relationship grow and the connection? But I, I think uh, for every relationship, um, it's best when you identify something that, you know, that, that, you. Um, that brings you together, something mm. that's uh, a common interest, sure. you know. Um, I am a fitness freak. I, I train a lot. I jog a lot. I, I do a lot of aerobics, you know. And so I would, I'd love that um, I have a partner who who loves fitness, you know, okay. just as I do. So, so that's one thing that that can bond um, two people. Um, I don't believe in trying to convince your partner to become um, a football freak. You know, mm -hmm. if you meet someone that is a football who loves football or is a football enthusiast, I mean that's. That's a plus, but personally, I don't necessarily look out for what a that? lady who's. Uh, I mean, we're in Ghana. You don't have too many ladies it's being true. football. We are few. We are so, like you know. so if you're if if you're going to follow that, then no, probably you're not going, you're not to, going to be in a relationship, or you're not going to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, so. mm -hmm. All right, but then uh, some will say that where you you can never connect. There will be differences. So mm -hmm. whether football, religion, politics, people still find their balance. Yeah. They don't let that hold them back. So, so uh, Nash, in a situation where you and your partner, it's just like these people are rivals, but then that's what your partner supports. Like yeah. maybe in Ghana, maybe politics, MPP and NDC. You might talk, 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 but then when you come, it's like <laughs> you are couples. Of like course. you put that behind. Yeah. So with that, how do you find your balance? Um, like I said a little one, okay. It's all about the understanding power. Mm -hmm. If you both understand this is your partner's interest, it won't trouble you in any way. Like I love football. He doesn't. He loves politics or something else. I wouldn't let that bother me so much. So I'll just have to compromise with him at that particular time. Because at the end of the day, we are coming back together to the house. Or mm -hmm. We are coming back. So why do we have to fight over this? So at least, if you are able to convince me 
to agree with you, fine. But if I'm not able to convince you, or you are not able to convince me, let me be. I'll be at my somewhere when you finish yours. That's it. We come back together again. I wouldn't let that bring any form of growth between us. Not at all. I wouldn't. All right. So we just have to understand each other, and that's all. You flow. But what are some of the weird comments you've heard from people because you are a football enthusiast? With me, I like. But you don't take part of their winning bonus. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a whole lot it's, like it's, funny things. Yeah, like, yeah, understand. That's an example, but to yeah. you, personal experience, what are some of the funny, react, bad comments you've ever received? Me? Uh huh. I remember when Liverpool beat us. <laughs> you mm. remember that? I think, what was that? Three years ago, when we were beating uh, 4 0. Yeah. I wept. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was actually achieved by my concentration always on the game. So I couldn't capture anything that was going on at church. Even my pastor was able to detect that my mind was not in church. So mm -hmm. I go home and I couldn't go to work for three days. Three days? I was sick. Charlie, you see you can wow. imagine leading three nil. I see. And then you come back to four nil. Heartbreak. Heart serious. I was sick. I went off social media and anything like that would bring my mind on that. I went off. So friends calling were like, people like my colleagues in the office were like, ah, you are not at work. And I say, I'm not feeling with this. Oh, we know it's because of the game. Mm -hmm. We are lost. So <laughs> what? Come to us. I cannot concentrate. So they were like, ah, but what do you get from it? I said, you don't know. That is where my interest is to allow me. Ah, you don't take part of their bonuses and all that. I said, it doesn't matter. That is what I love. And my heart is in it. So like, you cry. What kind of lady are you? You haven't seen your time before. You mm -hmm. don't even play the game. So what's your... And I'm like, no problem. Yeah. That is what I love. Hello, that's me. It. And that's it. We love that. For a woman who knows what she wants yeah. and not what people think. Yeah. Or what I only want you to intimidate me as well. A regular lady yeah. you should. It's, it's okay. Yeah. But then, one thing that really interests me is the trolling. <laughs> On bad days. <laughs> like, you're not going to... <laughs> the reason you have Afghan, I didn't have mm -hmm. one Ghana was of course I was campaigning for the Black Stars. I was like, you're going to break the 40. Nah, <laughs> that is wrong. wrong. <laughs> you can you imagine? You got and this I wrong. Have, oh, but you told the Black Stars is not a team. We told you not to put your trust in them. <laughs> so, AJ, how do you keep your composure when everybody seems to be trolling you? <laughs> So you don't um, lose your cool, because Charlie, once shit. your heart is in it, you might say something of that course. may be offensive. Yeah. The later is, I'm sorry about. It. So how do you keep a composure? Um, it depends. I mean, personally, mm -hmm. I, I psych myself, you know, <laughs> going into, especially these days with Manchester United, yeah. oh, Charlie. going into every game. I know that, I mean, yeah, we could win, we could lose, mm. we could draw, Yeah. you know. So I psych myself. I mean, that's my way of <laughs> dealing with the disappointment, a potential disappointment so when we yeah. lose i mean i am okay. I like, okay, i'm always psyched you know yeah so yeah so i i have i have withdrawn emotions yeah. Yeah. you know right. from from watching manchester united right. yeah. nash i don't know if okay maybe because you're a football enthusiast you might not be able to relate but women say <sighs> men don't like watching football with them i spoke to a guy who's like the question is too much. I come to ask, why did they give you red card? Why, which team is playing home? Like they said, mm. the question is just too much. So to get their full concentration, they don't like to watch the football women. with the woman who got zero knowledge about the game. Yeah. HH, why is that so? <laughs> when you are watching football, you want you want to have the <laughs> maximum concentration. Of course. Okay. You know, especially if it's a, if it's a big game, if it's a game you are looking forward to. You know, I mean, I don't want to be watching the Champions League final and be answering so many questions. Oh, come on. You know, and sometimes it's, it can be boring. Mm -hmm. You know, it can get, I mean, uh, who is this player? Who is that player? You know, yeah. I, I want to have that concentration. maximum concentration. So, you know, I mean, any other questions you've got, you can pen them down <laughs> after the game. You can ask the questions and I'll answer them. But whilst the game is going on, I need the maximum concentration mm -hmm. to to watch the game. So we can pen down our questions and maybe the first half we can... Yeah, maybe half, half time you can ask the questions and I will answer. Ladies, so you heard from... <laughs> the reason why men don't love watching football with you is the yeah. questions. They need full concentration for the 90 minutes. So if you've got any questions, 
Just ask your lecturer, I will tell you. Pen them down after lesson. You can ask me. Actually, but hey, Nash, have you ever had an experience like that? Maybe watching a football with, not maybe a man, mm. but a sibling, and then the questions just keep on coming from all angles. Fortunately, all my siblings love football. Okay, oh. except one, my little sister. She, I don't even, I can't even identify her interest. <laughs> okay. So after the, during the game, she'll be asking, so this one, what about it? I say, hey, sis, pack yourself, because you have no knowledge about the game. So you're coming to disturb me. You know, don't disturb me. But on the larger ground, I think most of my friends and then um, my siblings love football. So I haven't encountered that situation where I got to explain myself about red cars, about offside, about... No, 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 no. Why are they, why are they taking a corner? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see a lot of women debate like red card. No, this one is... It's not red card, but red they don't card, know what happened. Do you know what's going on? Yeah. What makes a red card? Please lower your voice. Well, man, I don't know if you've met a man who's crazy about PS. I, mean, I don't understand the craze about PS5. Please explain <laughs> with details and diagrams. Like, why is everyone crazy? Because I saw, I witnessed a wedding where the bride gifted the groom. Uh, and come and see all yeah. the men yeah. there. It was like they found a treasure. Yeah. Why is it a big deal? But I know the funny thing about hey. it also is that. You have guys who are not into football, oh, yeah. who are they into PS. Yeah. You know, so um, personally, I'm not really a, a, PS, a PS person. Yeah. I mean, I would I would play when when I'm with uh, when I'm with friends who play, but I'm not. I don't go crazy about, about it. it. I, I still don't get you it. Know. Like how everybody because uh, when when it was released freshly, then mm. every guy was like. See, we don't like the singlets, we don't like the ones. <laughs> <laughs> Even we want the PS, yeah. I've heard people come in like, this year, surprise us with the PS5. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't get it. Maybe I need uh, a PS5 lover to explain yeah, this maybe. fella to me. Yeah. Maybe. yeah, we've been discussing love and football, and I've been on the couch with Hussein Hassan and Nashlid. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, the show continues. Moons and Cuddles on Ghana Web TV with me, Paula Amabroni. So I have here in my hand the mystery box. Yes, for, for this all new season, we've introduced the mystery box where my guest gets to pick. We got some questions in here. Yeah, they'll pick it and then they'll answer. But then if you get to pick the empty sheet, you get the opportunity to ask me any question. Yeah, remember the show is 18 plus, so yeah. But then just today we are oh, talking yeah. uh, <laughs> love and football. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put the box right here. At the end of the whole thing, we'll try it out. Okay. And then we're going to be honest. If, if, if we accept fair play, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> <laughs> I beg you. Okay. All right. Now, in a case where you've, you've decided that you want to settle with a man or woman, so let's take it from relationship to marriage. There are times where they say the difference is you have to sort it out because you don't want to enter into the relationship and they're like, no, I don't want this. And I'm at a point I'm not willing to change for you. So, HH has spoken that, you know, he doesn't look at whether the woman loves football before he decides to settle with you or even date you. In such a situation where men fight, women fight their men, why is it that your friends come to our house, come and watch football and they make a whole lot of noise? You know how much I want my peace and calm. Should you go ahead and marry a football enthusiast, knowing how crazy and the love they have for the game? First of all, you need to know your interests. Mm -hmm. You need to know your interests. It's very, very important. If you can't compromise, then there's no love at the first place. So if you don't like football, let's say, okay, me, I don't like football, but he likes football. How many minutes? I said it. Yeah, the 90 minutes. How many minutes, minutes. It is that I can't just allow 
him and his friends to have that 90 minutes to have fun. And then at the end of the day, he comes back home. I see nothing wrong with it. So once again, it's all about the understanding part of it. You need to understand it that this is the kind of partner you are going in for. Because if you are going to date someone, I think by football months, you will know that this is a person you are going in for. He yeah, likes back. football. Uh -huh. He likes football. So if you don't like football and he likes football, what do you have to do? Sometimes you either ignore or you join him. If you can't beat them, you yeah, join them. Yeah, you join them. You see? So it all depends on the understanding. And then I don't see a big deal in this. I don't see a big deal at all in this. Mm. So you just have to understand your partner and then you move on with him. Allow him to have his fun at the end of the day. Come back because one day is going to be your turn. He might not have interest in what you also have. So what will he do? Should he leave the house because you are watching your whatever or your interest? No, he's going to be around. You see? Right. So if you don't like the football, it's either you're going to sit somewhere, read book, or like he said early on, we get to two sets, one in the bedroom, one in the hall, so right. my friend and I or his friend and uh, himself can watch their game. And I also concentrate on whatever I like. That's all. all right. HG, you want to add something to that? Um, I think basically she said it all. You know, it's about, it's about compromise, yeah. I mean. And um, generally that's what relationships have got to be about. Marriage has got to be about. It's, it's about compromise, you know, because you're two people mm, coming, coming from different, different backgrounds. backgrounds coming together. I mean, definitely there has got to, com there has got to be a compromise yeah. so that you are able to sustain the marriage mm -hmm. or the relationship and um, have your peace of mind. Right. Yeah. One thing that fascinates me is how men especially are able to keep football history and record up in their head. 92, they know who played, the coach, the, the captain of that squad. It's, it's like, I don't know it's where crazy. you draw that. So, is it that when you are young, you start, or there's a past question that maybe women are, we have not yet gotten our <laughs> hands on. Because it's really crazy. Yeah. You hear someone yeah. giving commentary and then he knows what happened 50 years even before yeah. he was born. How, how, how is it done? No, I mean, it's, it's all about game. interest. Yeah. I'm sure Jeez. that for you women, uh, to you, I mean, there are there are things about uh, yeah. Kim Kardashian mm -hmm. and uh, all of those ladies <laughs> that you're cool. able to draw, uh, you know, from way back. Wow. I mean, so so it's all about interest. Where your interest lies, you're able to pick on a lot of things relating to that. So it's normal where your interest lies. All right. Yeah. So for a woman who is not so much into football, but met a guy who's crazy about the game and she wants to join the fun as i said with me when i think i really like you that much how you about me switching to so your team in that case how do they also for someone who wants to also develop the love for the game is there a past question where their whole history and stuff like that, or you have to just google it one after the other because for you to be a pro and know the yeah. dates of your head so you're like oh no i know this was our coach four years ago this is our new coach i can list the whole the entire team yeah. How do you do that no, to I help mean, somebody who wants once, to Once, Once you watch. develop the interest, mm. all those things would come. I mean, oh. you, you make it the will not come naturally. <laughs> you. Oh, yeah. not necessarily. But you know, when, <laughs> when you develop the interest, you start, you start to read about mm. it. Read about okay? it. You start, I mean, these days where social media makes it's it everywhere. easy for us to follow stuff yeah. related to our teams. You know, you can like the various pages of uh, the, the football. various football teams, yeah, Manchester United, Real Madrid, Arsenal, like the FIFA page, like the UEFA Champions League page and all of that. And all of those things will come. Mm. So how, how did you learn? There are some people who are not so much into the history. With me, I don't know the history history of the blacks, even mm. my local team, Asante Kotoko, like I can tell you my boys and stuff like that. But then for, for a woman who just loves uh, do you also know the history or it's just the supposed mad love for Basa and then that's it? Oh, I know some, not all do. Uh, nobody can know all even. Mm, yeah. yeah, because okay. we came to meet the game, so you can't know. But like he said, you just, you just have to like some of the pages and they give you updates. 
So when a page gives you updates and you want to know more about it, then you search. Whatever you want to know, you search. And that's it. You get a history of them. All right. Yeah. But before we wrap it up, I just want to find out how you developed the love for your various, various teams. teams. Because it, it just didn't come naturally. Yeah. I have told you the story about my... <laughs> 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 I'm going to start with AJ. How, how, did, how did you grow the love for United? Uh, it was to Eric Cantona oh, okay. uh, some years back. You know, first time, when I was growing up, first time I saw Eric Cantona scoring goals. I was so Eric Cantona so is a former? Former United player. Okay, yes. For yeah. those who don't know, you cannot <laughs> say like everybody knows who Oh, so you don't know Cantona? I'm sure she Oh, does. yeah. You yeah. don't know Cantona? No, I'm saying that for, we know we are saying it more well, like, you know, people are like, who is that? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so Eric Cantona is a former Manchester United player. Yeah. He's okay. French. You know, um, he joined Manchester United and, um, I mean, life changed for Manchester United, I'll say. Um, it, it, whenever Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson is making references to players that have changed the course of Manchester United and made the club what it, is it probably true. is today. He mentions, Eric Antony is one of the names that he club mentions. Sir. Yeah, And Eric Antony is the reason I fell in love with Manchester United. <laughs> But my love for United heightened, of course, after the Champions League <laughs> in 1999. Okay. Yeah, the Champions oh. League in 1999. That was when it all... Okay. Yes, okay. I mean, that was okay. when it heightened. Okay. Oh, know. right. Yeah. Why did you win a bet that night or something? Oh, what? I mean, where that was, was I going to win? Very <laughs> old. Yeah, I was, I was too little. But I, I loved Manchester United. And so the, the Champions League was just it for me, mm. you know, I mean... Nash, yeah. how, how did it all come about? Um, I actually started with Hearts of Oak because my dad was a fan oh, okay. <laughs> of, of Hearts of Oak. So I kept to, I get to watch games with him, Champions League, some of the leagues. And then I go for the style of play. So when I watch Barca play, I was somehow supporting us now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. You betrayed so us. <laughs> you can no. betray them one day. Somehow, table. somehow. <laughs> well, I haven't found my fate yet. <laughs> so I was somehow supporting us now. Then I watched Bossa played one night and I was like, wow. This is it. This is it. And that's it. I just love the style of play. And then I think Asna got a bit of our style of play. So, yeah, yeah, we have almost the same style of play. So, I got attracted more to Barcelona and to the dates. Yeah, it's been it. That's it. Yeah. All right. But I forgot to put, bring this one up. I know a lady who complains that her man is so much into betting. Mm. Every time he wants to bet, he, like, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> we understand you love the game, yeah. but the betting bit, I know money is involved. Mm. Have you met men who are so crazy about, or maybe, uh, how? Um, not in my circles. Maybe they overdo, yeah. some people overdo it. Yeah. Uh, not in my circles. I, I don't have friends who do betting. football betting. I mean, maybe they do and I don't, don't know, know, but I don't have friends who do football betting. I don't know any friends of mine close to me that are involved in football betting. But yeah, I know it's a craze, mm. you know, it's a craze. And, I mean, you have a lot of young people getting involved because it's money, money yeah. anyway, you know, and a lot of young people these days What's will do money? just anything for money, you know. Until you, you use your school fees and, and <laughs> your team disappoints <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. But it's been an interesting conversation with you here for our opener for this new year. So let's move straight to the mystery box. We promise, the rule is that you promise to be honest. Whatever you pick, you're going to answer. So okay. who do I? Okay. They say ladies first, but you let's start with me. Let's start with <laughs> Okay. Okay. Great. What do we have here? Ta-da. Okay. So the question is, what would you go for? A Ben Dada or Debi Debi Ebe? <laughs> when you're considering settling? Okay, or bounce a theater bank, like you know, DB, a shen, or you prefer, like, you know, a, a, a girl that you're going to grow with her. You know, I, I come from a background where um, 
religiously, culturally, it's the man who is dominant. Mm. Okay. Okay. And so, you know, there's always that perception, perception. that a woman who has got money kind of uh, take the if position. you get what I mean you know would would I mean you wouldn't have her uh, submit as you as you ladies don't want hmm. to hear these things oh just submission it's in, it's, 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 to your husband yeah. the submission is okay when it's to your partner like yeah exactly so yeah. that's what I'm saying so I mean I come from a background where uh, the man is the dominant yeah. figure. and so um, I not to say that I wouldn't want a woman well who's, who's well established and all of that, but um, I mean I don't mind working it all the way to with you know to, to to make success with someone who's coming from nowhere. All right, yeah. all right, all right, great. Gosh. Ha ha. <laughs> What do we have here? Mm. Oh, yeah, nobody picked that empty sheet, so. <laughs> okay. So this one is for you. Okay. Freak in the sheets, no, freak in bed, or crucify me. There are some people who say they want to freak. <laughs> Others do, they say they want someone who, not, just do the missionary and stuff like that. Do you, what do you prefer? I oh, see. Yes, <laughs> you promised to follow the oh, rules. Word. <laughs> for the question. Yes, what do you want? A freaking bed or yeah, crucify me? You want a freak? What do you I mean like that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you I mean like that? It's as simple as that. We're not going to ask any further details. If he's not a freak, you teach him. We'll learn together. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Thank you very much for playing the game with me. As I said earlier, the show is sponsored by Cheesy Pizza. Cheesy Pizza has all you want from juices, smoothies, jollof, fried rice, pack, and meatballs. We have great deals for you all week round. Cheesy Pizza gives you the Mac Cheesy Combo every Monday and Thursday with only 49 series. You get one small pizza, fries and chicken, one cola drink at all branches. Tuesdays are Super Tuesday at Cheesy Pizza branches. Buy your Super Family Pizza at half price every Tuesday for 40 CDs. Be a part of our Midweek Bonanza every Wednesday. Buy and get one free at all Cheesy Pizza branches. And also remember to start your weekend with our special jollof and fried rice from all Cheesy Pizza branches every Friday. Call 26 413-3397 to place your order. Cheesy pizza, your pizza, your way. So Nash and HH, nice doing this with you here. I must say, I enjoyed the conversation. And all those who have problems with their partners who are so into football, at least we've suggested ways that they can handle it. And as you stated, you don't have to totally give up what you love no. just to keep a relationship. So for you, our viewers, as we always do it, we seek to entertain you whilst also educating you on how to spice your relationship and marriage. All right, so Cheesy Pizza got something for you. Get yourself a coupon where you can enjoy a pizza from India. So you could pass one to Nash for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you could visit Thank any you. of their branches and get yourself a pizza. Okay. All right. Also, soon we come to the end of this episode of Moons and Cuddles. I did this with... HH, he's a football enthusiast and former TV presenter, yes. And Nash, Nash is an administrator and also a woman who loves football. Yeah, and I was your host, Paula Amabroni. We'll be back in the next series with something bigger and better. See you soon. <laughs>